Headline edition, July 8, 1947. The Army Air Forces has announced that a flying disc has been found and is now in the possession of the Army. Army officers say the missile found... I want to take you back 200 years to a place called Crosswick, Ohio. Now normally there wouldn't be all that much to discuss here. After all, we're talking about a small town on what was then still part of the western border of early America. Yes, not a lot to talk about, except that this particular small town and its surrounding environs was home to a monster. Although the monster hadn't been spotted in nearly two centuries, the legend of the Crosswick monster is still told in the area. According to reports, two young boys were playing on the banks of a small creek when they were startled by a massive snake-like creature. The monster sprouted arms and snatched one of the boys, dragging him nearly 100 yards to a massive sycamore tree that was assumed to be its den. The monster dropped the child just outside a hole in the tree's bank. The 26-foot diameter tree was eventually chopped through by dozens of men from the town, and when the serpent creature reappeared, the men noted that it was between 12 and 14 feet tall. The monster escaped the men, crashing through a fence before darting into a cavern. The full description of the creature from the men was as follows. It is described as being 30 to 40 feet long, 12 to 14 feet tall when erect, 16 inches in diameter, and legs 4 feet long. It is covered with scales like a lizard's of black and white color with large yellow spots. Its head about 16 inches wide with a long forked tongue and the mouth inside deep red. Although the Crosswick monster was never seen again, it is remembered as one of the most believable cryptid experiences in Ohio, as more than 60 men claim to have witnessed it. So there you have it, a small chapter, or perhaps just a page or two, an anecdote for you to take note of, contemplate, and file away. But never lose sight of the fact that just beyond the boundary of your door, in places seen and unseen, in regions known and unknown, monsters dwell. Thank you for listening to the Shadowland Radio Show. If you're listening on the Blackwater Media YouTube channel, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. You can also listen at blackwatermedia.net and the Blackwater Media Facebook page. I'm Dr. William Lester, and I promise to see each and every one of you again on the flip side.